Brethren, I once again greet you all well, and on this occasion in the environment of Alert Level 2, where we have a little bit more freedom and the ability to reconnect with people that we have missed for the last six to eight weeks. I wish you all well with those reconnections. But brethren, the time is now right for us to consider the reconnection and the reopening of Freemasonry. But we need to do that with the appropriate rules and procedures in place. And the first priority will be the health, safety and well-being of our brethren as they attend any lodge meeting. And to do that, we will follow the lead of the government and the decisions that they will make around the criteria for Alert Level 2. But currently, as you all know, we are unable to open our lodges as social gatherings have been limited to a maximum of 10 people. But we also know that on the 25th of May, the government will make a further announcement as to whether that will be extended or reduced. A lot will depend on what happens between now and then. Brethren, the moment we know the outcome of that government decision, we will make a further announcement relating to the reopening of lodges and getting Freemasonry back up and running. But in the meantime, I can assure you that in consultation with the Divisional Grand Masters, we have been developing a toolkit which will assist the Master and the Lodge to make the decisions that are appropriate for their Lodge, and they need to do that in consultation with their District Grand Master. Brethren, this toolkit consists of three things. The first will be a decision-making flowchart to help you all navigate through the issues and the decisions that you need to make appropriate to your Lodge for the reopening. The second will be a health and safety plan template and some guidance notes that will assist you in being able to put together a plan suitable for the health and safety and well-being of your brethren and your visitors. And the third will be a set of frequently asked questions and answers, which hopefully will provide you with some guidance on those matters that have exercised your minds over the last six to eight weeks. Brethren, each lodge is slightly different, and each lodge will follow and have different issues that they need to navigate their way through. And for that reason, one size does not fit all. We cannot develop a set of rigid rules that are applicable to every lodge and ask that they've been followed. So there will be some guiding principles that we ask you all to follow, and they will focus solely around the health and well-being of brethren, families and their communities. They will be the guiding principles and they must be followed when you make the decisions on the reopening of your lodges. But I can assure you that the main part will be following common sense. Make that decision based on good common sense and be guided by the overall arching principles. Use the tools that we send to you to make those decisions and follow the frequently asked questions to guide you through that process as well. And consult fully with your district grand master if you are not sure. There is also the opportunity to talk through him to your divisional grand master, and if you are still seeking some further explanations relating to the toolkits, contact our national office. But do so after you have gone through the district grand master and the divisional grand master. Brethren, when dispensations have been given, they are particularly around members that may feel that they're not quite ready to come back into the lodge room, and we understand that. Everybody has been through a tremendous period of unsettlement and uncomfortable and a lack of understanding of the, of the wider implications of this COVID-19 virus. We don't want anyone to feel pressurised in any way that they must do things to reopen the lodge. You must do things that are comfortable to you and to your lodge. And the right decision for you and for your lodge is the right decision that is comfortable for you in your particular circumstances. And we will support you with that as much as we can. I want to now turn to the matter of installations because I know that's been exercising a lot of people's minds over the last few weeks. We know that it has not been possible to conduct these installations as they have been scheduled and there's been a lot of uncertainty about how to move forward because it's not just the installation of the master, it's the installation or the investiture of the officers that, that support him. To address this, the National Office will be sending out next week a flowchart that covers the processes and processes that we want to follow to manage the installation ceremonies. That will be with you shortly, shortly and should give you all the guidance that you need. And finally, brethren, in this video, 
And whilst I can't give you a date for reopening the lodges, I would like to thank you all for the great effort that everyone has gone to to keep Freemasonry alive and functioning well over the last few weeks. I believe, and I'm sure you believe, that we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I'd like, and like you, I'm all very much looking forward to getting back into the lodge room. Brethren, I wish you all well, and we will stay in touch, and you will see me again as the next announcement comes forward, hopefully after the 25th of May. Brethren, stay safe, follow the rules, and I look forward to meeting you shortly. Thank you.